What's up, guys? Welcome to Intense Future. Or is it in Future Tense? That is the question of the day. Now, actually, the question of the day is how do you go to Disneyland without spending a million dollars on parking? How? Alright, well, here's the answer. 12100 Harbor Boulevard. I have not fact checked this, but there is a Target and a strip mall there. So I figure if you park there and then you buy something from Target for the day, like a five buck water bottle, you can go to Target and be a customer. And since that lot is for customer parking, you can park there. The next step, bus 43 for the Orange County Transit, whatever the last word is, OCTA, O-C-T-A, goes right down the street, boop, and take it right to Disneyland. And all you have to do, get out the bus, walk across the street, and you're there. And guess how much that costs you for a bus ticket? I think it's like five fifty, but either way, it's cheaper than twenty dollars. So that is the answer to the question posed to me about how can I get into Disneyland without paying a lot of murder. However, I would like to warn you: if you pay less for parking, probably not going to have the same level of security. So if you leave your vehicle in that parking lot, it is a possibility you may be robbed blind. However. I don't think that's likely, because generally Anaheim is a pretty decent place around Disneyland. Generally. Next question. Somebody was asking me, because I shared a link on my Facebook, about this new gun control thing that they're trying to do. I forget what the state is, but they're telling me that there's a bill trying to be passed where they can come to your door, the police, government, whatever, can come to your door, take away your guns. Now, I will tell you, I was raised in a house with lots of guns. Granted, they weren't just hanging on the wall waiting for me to shoot somebody with them, but they were in the house and I knew it. Now, the question for you is do you want to protect your family if somebody breaks in? Or do you want to let them die? Now, if you really go with the baseball bat or choking someone out with a belt or stabbing someone with a cooking knife, then this question is not for you. However, for all the ladies out there who do not know Krav Maga and for all the guys out there, who don't know martial arts, which is also Krav Maga on some level, a gun is the solution. Now, I don't need a gun to kill somebody, but I sure as heck like the idea of pointing a gun at someone and saying, get the hell out of my house, and then going, well, I have a gun too, and me going, blam, but I shot you first. Quickest way to make sure someone does not hurt your family, and I got a kid and a wife that I believe very strongly in protecting. So the question posed to me was, what do you think about this? And I'm not going to go around putting myself in a bad bucket, but basically, someone comes to my house and tells me that they're going to take away my right to protect my family and take away the last heirloom that I have from my father, who is now passed, rest in peace. I'm going to tell them to go screw themselves. Any more questions? Go ahead and go. Got to ask Jimmy, hashtag, in front of that word phrase, whatever, on Twitter, or you can go to my Facebook page, look at James Eugene Hahn, H-A-H-N, and send me a message, and I will answer just about any question, and it may not be so amusing as this, but that's okay, because <gasps> this is in future tense, for intense future.